Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new Big Cherry Retro React here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. Hello, honey. The Ankle's a little mean. <laughs> so I know I said somewhat recently that I'm not sick. Yeah, that changed very quickly. So I do apologize if my voice is like very raspy in this one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm feeling it. Thank you so, so much for tuning on in, you guys. Let me know your thoughts out in the comments. Like and subscribe, become a... <coughs> for today's video, we're taking a look at She Makes Me Feel Beautiful and Becoming Vegetarian. I roll. Oh, you guys. Oh, you guys. The vegetarian arc is probably low-key one of my faves. The second... Packing progress, and how am I moving? What do you mean, how are you moving, girl? You're gonna have someone come do it for you. Like, hello. Guarantee you Destiny and her grandma had to load that car up. And then, how I'm really feeling about meeting Destiny. So, it's gonna be a lot of Destiny now. Which, of course, that's always how it is, right? As soon as a new one comes into the picture, it's all that matters. But yeah, I mean, clearly the weight loss isn't happening. But thank you so much once again, you guys. I won't waste any time. So let's dive right into this, shall we? Before I severely regret it. Hello, everybody. I have. Hey, Amber. I made a video in the longest time. It feels like a lot has been going on for me. I don't even. They've definitely been fighting. Definitely. Amber, when she doesn't want anything to do with you like that, she just lets it all hang out, essentially. Like, <laughs> you thought she was bad before? Just watch how she treated Beck before the breakup and then after. Like, she becomes a total B-I-T-C-H. No, how to wrap my head around life. Recently, Crystal's sister and her fiancé, their apartment caught on fire. I don't really want to go too much... Jesus. In the details, because it is... Was it you? ...private matter, but they've been staying with us for a little bit. I just feel... They've been staying with her parents, you mean. Not us. It's still not a group effort. You don't contribute literal jack shit to this house, dude. Oh, you guys, I'm telling you, sick me means it's going to be spicy me, okay? so so horrible for them. They got a new apartment really quickly, so I'm super, super excited for them. They're going to... So you feel so, so bad for them and super, super excited for them. Dog, I, I don't think you even know what your emotions are. Be moving out on Wednesday. Their cat Nubbins is literally the softest cat I've ever felt in my life. Every time I go in the bedroom, he is hidden under the bed and I want to pet him so bad. Why are you going in their bedroom? But he's hidden. Literally, I'm probably hiding from you, dog. Obsessed with cats. Crystal went on a date last night. I am <laughs> so freaking, like, excited for this. Like, when she was on the date. Oh, she's definitely not. She's definitely not. I was, like, sitting here at home. I was, like, all anxious. Like, oh, my God, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? I was, like, biting my nails off. It's it's really strange to think that, like, four months ago, I was thinking, oh, my God, Crystal's the love of my life. You know, that's just, like, how it is. We were in a relationship. So, once again, it wasn't an amicable breakup. Go figure. For a very, very long time. Now, here we are, like, totally moving on, accepting, you know, that we have... Brother, I think she was ready to move on a long freaking time ago. Other people in our lives, and we're friends now, and it feels really good. Don't get me wrong, it's not pitch... Per well, yeah, it's not pitch perfect. Yeah, go figure. Um, well, girl... <sighs> <laughs> just annoys me how she talks about these relationships and all she's still keeping crystal some way in her back pocket because obviously she needs someone to freaking drive her to get food perfect perfect because it's not it gets hard it gets rough like there are certain emotions that arise that are different it's like things that you don't oh I remember what I was going to say. It's also interesting to me that she's been filming these videos lately where she's talking about how Crystal feels, and Crystal is nowhere near her. Just interesting. Specs. Overall, this is just a great, 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 
adventure i feel like so yeah it definitely comes off that way in 10 days i will be moving to florida i literally cannot believe the time is going by so quickly it's very nerve-wracking i've been doing a lot of packing i have quite a few boxes and four of them are like ginormous and i physically can't even pick them up myself shocker amber shocker i'm surprised you could even lift like a bag by yourself dude she would be like oh oh jamesy it's so heavy <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be an issue. I still have one more box to pack and then I'm officially packed. Well, considering it would be Destiny and her grandma having to do the lifting, yeah, I would say that's an issue. I'm sorry I haven't been making, you know, vlogs showing my packing process. I've just... Oh, please don't apologize, girl. I'm actually appreciative that you're just breezing on through this. I've been very, very, very busy. I have been very just emotionally... Just going through emotions, okay? Okay, so she's been a raging see you next Tuesday. That's what that means. Yesterday was Father's Day. Yesterday was my brother's birthday. I didn't get to talk to neither of them. I have no... Yeah, whose fault's that? ...idea how to communicate with either of them. They're whose fault's that? Never on Facebook. I don't have their numbers. So yesterday in general was kind of rough. Not only that, but I'm thinking about making a really big change in my life. Lately... I mean, I can understand where she's coming from with it being... <clears throat> a rough feeling but like does a rough feeling really justify a whole rough day i mean my god it's got to be pretty freaking severe for me to be like all right this completely ruins my day i have been studying a lot on vegetarians oh i roll i'm so not looking forward to hearing her explain this <laughs> just watching her fail it is funny enough and the things that they can eat to get in protein. I am not really a- Amber, you should know, like, you have a high protein diet even when you aren't eating meat. Like, you have so many damn beans, dude. <laughs> oh, I know those farts are rank. Eat person to begin with. Don't get me wrong, I love myself some McDonald's chicken nuggets. Give me some now, please. Amber, you'll eat just about any kind of meat. Literally, in the past year and a half on YouTube, you've eaten every single type of meat that there is, except for lamb. We know that she's not the biggest lamb person. Although I think she's had some before. A lot of the time, if I eat like a red meat, such as hamburger or steak, I get really sick afterwards. I don't know. Oh yeah, is that why you do it? She was eating steaks like crazy in the beginning. Do you guys remember that? It's because of my gallstones or something else. I'm the type of person that will not eat meat unless it's super cooked. Like literally practically burnt. I just... Gross. Just get creeped out with meat. I am probably one of the biggest animal lovers you will ever see in your life. It yeah. Yeah. It shows, Amber. It really does. Your constant neglect, even to this day. Yeah, no, that really screams, I love my animals. It's really hard for me. Dude, I feel freaking horrible that I can't even trim Goo's nails. Like, <laughs> and here she is not giving a shit that her dog is on joint medication that probably hasn't been given in years now. Like, oh my god. She's just a freaking wreck, dude no consideration for anything beyond herself and like i don't think i'm the most necessarily selfless person out there um you know trauma does that to people it makes you a little bit guarded and just like wary but when it comes to goo my guy oh <laughs> where am i going with this Oh my Jesus, I feel like I keep losing my train of thought, you guys. I'm really not feeling well, but I'm trying to truck through this. Give me a minute. <laughs> Watch documentaries about where our meat comes from, because literally it repulses me, it sickens me. Actually, I will recommend, I've said it before, but the one that initially turned me vegetarian for like seven years was uh, Earthlings. And I watched it on YouTube it's probably not up there anymore, but it's a rough watch, you guys. I recommend it, but only if you're in the mental space for it, because it's going to change your perception on a lot of things. And it's just absolutely disgusting. 
a lot of people believe that animals were put onto this earth so us humans could eat. But I don't think I view it that way whatsoever. Oh, yeah, okay. Except those chicken nuggies, right? I really think I'm going to become a vegetarian. I need to study more on it because you cannot become a vegetarian just like this. Be I mean, you can. You can. It doesn't take months of freaking research, girl. Because there are a lot of things that is being taken out of your body because meat gives you iron, protein, and just certain... And all of those things you can get from plants. So... Vitamins. So I need to look up a good vitamin supplement that I could be taking. I don't really want to go like into how I roll, dude. Do hardcore details about it right now. It's definitely something I'm interested in. I've always been interested in this. I used to talk to Crystal about it all the time. She was not for me being vegetarian. I don't know what it was. She just would not allow it. I'm BS. What a crock of ish dude I understand i'm my own person but when you're in a relationship with someone sometimes you have to compromise about what you eat shut the hell up I'm normally the one who compromises a little too much i told oh yeah i bet i bet amber you seem like the queen of compromisation not moderation <laughs> destiny i want to be a vegetarian and she totally supports me so that makes me happy well it's less food that she'd have to share with you I just wanted to give you guys an update, like just craziness, craziness right now. So it seems like absolutely nothing is different. <laughs> You're thinking about being vegetarian, okay. <laughs> oh, Jesse and I are going to be meeting for the first time on July 2nd, and I can't believe it. I literally just cannot believe it. She made eye roll dude makes me feel so freaking special i am a very insecure person don't worry it shows she makes me feel beautiful and it's just a great feeling like i you also gotta remember crystal and her never had a physical relationship never so destiny is really something new for amber she has someone that is actually physically interested in her for once so I mean, how she was able to sucker people into being with her that weren't physically attracted to her, I will have no freaking idea. But, yeah, she somehow did it. I haven't felt this happy in a really long time. I want yeah, I bet. I try my hardest to make more videos for you guys. You know, I only have 10 more days in Virginia. I'm going to keep you guys posted as much as possible. I just miss you guys so freaking much. I really would. I think it's, like, next video for us, not hers. Like, the next video after this one. Oh my god, my brain. <laughs> it um I feel like I'm functioning at the speed that Amberlynn usually does. <laughs> That'll have her meeting destiny in it, I believe. I would feel more. I just feel like when I'm emotionally exhausted, it's hard for me to really do anything besides take care of business and and you don't have anything to do. You can't even be bothered to shower, dude, so. Sometimes YouTube is put on the back burner, and I just feel really bad for that. I love you all. I miss you all. And I will try my hardest to make more videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. I roll. All right. We might be kind of breezing on through this one, you guys. <sighs> Hello, everybody. Hey, you. Let's make a video today. I figure I would vlog today. My life isn't always the most interesting, but I... I mean, true that. ...miss just, like, literally sitting here and talk... Ah, uh, Come on, dude. ...and you guys. Vlogging, making videos... Vlogging. Jesus, her mouth is really off kilter. YouTube in general. I'm, I'd be interested to know what her skull looks like. That sounds like creepy and weird, and I get that. I get it. But like, I just want to see the symmetry of it. It's such a huge passion of mine, and I just cannot let that part of my life go. I miss you guys. Ah, yeah, it's giving passion. It's so much. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Y'all, I, I am kind of excited for when Destiny comes and scoops her ass up. It's going to be so much more entertaining. I'm sorry, Crystal. It's no shade to you, girl. 
I understand you didn't want to be in the videos and she forced you, but I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you guys what I have packed already. I have one box left. It's pretty big, so that's the only box I have left to pack whatever I need to pack. I have every How much shit are you bringing? A single jewelry item I own in Oh Christ. This bag and I just put it in here. I put every single jewelry item. Oh my god. All those freaking individual plastic bags that you know she's just going to throw away. And just Ziploc baggies. It made sense to me and it worked. This is just important. If she's justifying it by saying it made sense to me, that means that it makes sense to her because she's lazy and she understands that that's probably not the best way to go about it. Information like my birth certificate. Oh, Oh, but Amber, I thought you didn't have a copy of your birth certificate. Oh, oh, bitch. Okay. Oh, wait. Did she say that she had it or? I don't know. Or was it just the time? It might have just been the time. Okay, I might have overreacted a bit, but hmm. I mean, I was in foster care because some jobs you like need that. I don't even understand. Don't ask. <laughs> She's so stupid. Oh shit! No, did I just break the box? Oh, um, of course you did. If you were leaning on it. No. Well, I need to be careful. Oh my god. I have my jewelry holder. You need to be. I was going to say something, but no, I can't. Jordan, reel it in. Reel in the spiciness. There's just random stuff in here. And all my college stuff from when I went to college. Bitch, why do you need that? The <laughs> I also love how it's one small, tiny little thing. When I finally left college, I had boxes and boxes of papers and shit. Some of it I still have, but... Oh my god, girl. Yeah, that's what, that's what not even one semester looks like. I have to put all of these books, shoes, and just random miscellaneous stuff in that box. My other boxes are in Why are the you bringing all of their stuff? Like, I feel like anything that they paid for, leave. Game room. And here we have underwear, socks... She's literally taking up every single room with these freaking boxes. Pajama shirts, sweaters, pajama pants. And here we have cardigan. It's a freaking mess because I, I am literally living out of boxes right now. My closet is completely empty and I've been living out of boxes for... Girl, that's what you should have been doing this entire time is living out of a box under an overpass. Okay, you should have been homeless. Sorry, but like... You conned your way into this situation, dude. A couple weeks. So in here we have cardigans and just, like, shirts. Well, why would you pack all that away first? Like, what? Here we have every single glass perfume. Oh, I my freaking God. My own wrapped up. This is body spray. You know Crystal did all this. And another body spray. My packing is going pretty well, I must admit. There are so many things I've had to get rid of. I've given them to Goodwill. A lot of things I've had to throw away. Crystal Eye roll. Crystal's parents offered to send me, like ship me stuff that I left here. I don't want to have to make them pay that kind of money. So I'm either A, bring it all with me now. B, side eye. She doesn't want them to pay that. But oh yes, please. Mommy and daddy, please keep paying my phone bill because I'm broke. Throwing it away. See, Goodwill. I have no problem with that. I'm throwing it away. Jesus. Bringing a lot of my stuff, which I'm very grateful that I'm going to be able to bring as much as I can. In the past, when I've moved states, I literally just brought one suitcase and that was it. I've had a couple. Imagine all the junk she left behind at Casey's. People ask me, how am I getting to Florida? That is something I've never answered. So I guess I might as well answer it now. On July 2nd, Destiny is coming with her mammy. They are driving from Kentucky because Destiny will be visiting her mother in Kentucky for 4th of July. They're coming. Oh, 
the first intro to Destiny's mom. To pick me up, we're going to Kentucky for, it's a really far drive. My freaking God. She's so annoying. Crystal, shake that left it, deaf it. <laughs> Just playing. It's High roll. She's, oh my God, dude. <laughs> Crystal, how are you not ripping your own hair out, dude? It's going to be a really far drive. So the whole July 2nd, they're going to be driving, and I'm so grateful for them. Like, you don't even understand. Yeah, I bet. So we're going to be in Kentucky for July 2nd, July 3rd, July 4th, and we're leaving July 5th. So July 5th, we are driving to Florida. Some people were confused if I was taking a bus, a plane, this or that, but no. She's too broke for any of that, and to be fair, I, at this point, I don't think she could fit on a plane. She would need two seats. They're coming to get me. Something else that people have been wanting me to talk about is kind of like my emotions and my feelings. Video diary, if you... Who cares? Well, about what I'm going through, if I'm nervous to meet Destiny and things like that. Well, I do plan on making some videos like that. I really feel like... Seeing like that. Seeing that in the future, like how I felt before meeting Destiny would be really interesting to, to see. It'll help... Okay. <laughs> other people too who are in long distance relationships i'm not in a oh my freaking god relationship destiny wants to ask me to be her girlfriend in person in our hearts it's official we're just not world official yet i have to go run brother some errands with crystals i feel like i'm not giving much input here but like what's their to give input on she's in that first stage you know so it'll be interesting to see when that act gives up it's going to be pretty freaking quick you guys oh let's do an up the day we haven't done that in forever i'm not wearing any jewelry so i swear you choose to film when crystal's doing ish near you all packed no makeup because i'm too lazy hair in a look at all the room crystal has now it's crazy fine because my hair is crazy that rhymed just wearing this. Don't freaking touch her. Keep your nasty freaking hands off of her. Black and white shirt that I got from Walmart. Dude, how how are they sharing a bed? Oh, I know Crystal is gripping the side of it freaking all night long. The mattress. Yes, you guys, I have gained weight. Oh, shocker. Don't need to point that out. Well, neither do you then, bitch. Oh, my God. Ah. Uh, Ah, she just annoys me so much, you guys. It's not on you. This room is this big. No, it's not, Amber. You're freaking, you know, too big to measure. I'm standing back so I can see. Can you seriously? Oh my god. Oh, Crystal, I feel your annoyance, dude. This girl goes. Why is your butt on me? <laughs> well. Dude, who wants that nasty freaking unwashed thing touching them? Catch you on the flip side. Besides, we couldn't really see all that much more. It was just about five inches extra of thigh. Wow. I forgot to show you guys. Okay, not my glasses. They felt lopsided, so I had to fix them. Anyways. Oh, my freaking God. My purse of the day. Isn't it a cutie? I've wow. had it for so long. I don't remember where I got it from. Jesus, dude. She's looking rough. I almost feel like it was just some random store inside of a random mall. And why are we now all of a sudden doing the glasses again? Destiny wears glasses, doesn't she? Does she? I honestly can't remember. See, my brain is not working today, you guys. <laughs> Random shop, random people. Wow. And a purse. <laughs> Stupid. All the cars are stopped right now because there's like a million geese walking across. Look how cute they are. Wow. Oh my god, there's so many. And there's like a bunch over here. Crystal, don't run it over. <laughs> Heading into the mall because. Why? Why is this family still spending money on her? I need to find a pink necklace. Why? And I go see Destiny. Why is your red so... Why is your red? Why is your chest so, like, red and blotchy, dude? Like, breaking out in hives? And we go to Kentucky. We're going to this, like, 
water park and she doesn't want me to be wearing pants i actually bought a maxi dress which i can show you guys i don't want to dress in her at a water park dude how's that gonna work i was in sixth grade so it's quite different in my head i'm envisioning like a pink necklace and i don't have many pink necklaces which is kind of oh ball bitch oh my god in my head i picturing a pink necklace Jesus, dude, how is she this bad when she's this broke? That's what I don't understand. Strange. I need to find one. The mall was not a good luck when it comes to my pink necklace. I roll, dude. Oh, my Jesus. This is just needless wasting of time and other people's money. I did get a few things there, though. Oh, shocker. Now I'm at Walmart, so... Food, probably. Walmart has some cute jewelry most of the time, so I'm hoping they have these, like, pink beaded necklaces that I saw before, because I so want that now. At home, I went to Charlotte Ruse and Walmart and got stuff from both places, so I wanted to show you what I got. First place will be Charlotte Ruse. Casual pink triangle necklace. This was You're gonna wear that at a water park? Not the type of pink necklace I was aiming for, so that's why I ended up going to Walmart as well. So then why'd you get it? I needed more thin cardigans, so I got this one oh my God. and this one. They're both super freaking cute. And I just don't understand how she affords it. Thin, so I like that. Walmart next. Simple pair of black yoga pants. I needed more tape for packing. And this is a what? actually really, really good tape. Maroon bead necklace. Ew. A light pink beaded necklace, which is probably going to be the necklace that I wear with the maxi dress, but I'm not 100% sure. Maroon statement necklace. Gold and coral beaded necklace that I'm literally obsessed with. This is so beautiful. Another beaded necklace. Baby blue. Pink, gold, and green. This is just so pretty. And my last thing... Oh my god. ...is this beaded colorful necklace. Right now I'm watching... That last one was literal vomit. Pretty Little Liars, literally. If you don't watch Pretty Little Liars, you're not going to understand a single thing I'm about to say. Oh, wonderful. Arya is suspicious. Arya is freaking awesome. Arya better have a huge story. Arya is A. Ding! We have weather advisory right now. So did you just spoil the show? Like, out of nowhere? Now there's supposed to be a really bad thunderstorm, and I hear the rain outside right now. Literally sounds like it's raining cats and dogs. Hell, you poor thing. I want to upload this vlog in case the power goes out. <laughs> she needs to get ready for Florida, dude. So recently, we had a day where the power kept flickering and stuff, and I don't want that to happen while I'm uploading this little fella. Well, I'm going to end my vlog now. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I roll. Okay, finally, the last one. Hello, everybody. This video was requested. People want me to kind of do... Oh, hey, Amber. Video diaries of how I'm feeling about meeting Destiny on July 2nd. It will be the first time her and I are meeting face-to-face -face in person, and I'm honestly super, super freaking terrified. Girl, I bet. She's probably only seen you from the chest up. Growing up, I was really, really bullied because of my weight. I didn't have as many friends as the average kid. I didn't go play with people. I just wasn't as happy as the average kid. I was always... Okay. Something tells me, though, that wasn't entirely the other kid's fault. And not that at that age it was her fault either, but she probably had some very severe behavioral issues. The fat friend, the ugly friend... I just always felt oh, hard on that second one, huh? Felt like fat Amber, and that's exactly what I was called. It was. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but like, what's all this about? Why are you guilt tripping us, making us try to feel bad for you? It wasn't just in school. It wasn't just random people looking at me while I was walking in a mall. It was even my brother and my dad. It was within the family. My brother. Well, dude, once again. But, oh, but I thought you weren't with your family for most of your childhood. Hmm? Oh, okay. But, once again, not that it's okay to come from the dad at all. That's not all right. But the brother? 
I bet you had some nasty-ish to say as well. My dad would really belittle me because of my weight. As a little girl, my dad would push me into a corner and he would spit loogies in my face, calling me every fat name that I could even think of imaginable. That seems so overly dramatic, right? It was probably the hardest for me hearing it come from my dad. I almost expected it from kids at school, but not from my own father. My brother saw how my dad treated me, and it kind of grew on him. As we got older into teenage years, my brother would physically... Once again, thought you weren't with them at all. ...physically abuse me. The things he would say regarding my weight was absolutely horrific. Every... And I'm sure you had some nasty-ish to say too, girl. All right? Like, yeah. Bad thing that would ever happen to me in my life. Once again, with the dad, that's a different thing. A father should know how to keep their cool, even if their child is a problem child. But the brother, like, girl, I don't think that was necessarily entirely unwarranted. And I'm sure you pushed your dad there, too, honestly. Not that his reaction was okay, but I'm just saying, like, there's... <laughs> I highly doubt it was a one-way street. Life, I purely blamed it on my weight. If I got a bad grade, it was because of my weight. If Ow, I roll, dude. So everyone's just fat phobic? If a boy didn't want to go out with me, it was because of my weight. If a Well, yes, that's probably true. Oh. And because you are so grating and just a horrible person. If didn't want to go out with me, it was because of my weight. If I slipped and fell, it was because of my mm, She had to mention that girl thing in there. <laughs> wait, everything was because of my weight. I know it was all in my head at the time. A lot of it- What the hell are we getting to? Are you trying- Is this to, like, get the people speculating that, like, this maybe isn't a good idea to shut up? To try and, like, guilt trip them into it? Like, what's- Why are we doing the sob story, girl? It was because of my weight. My life was revolved around my weight. I gotta be honest, I've had quite a few relationships- Hookups, friends with benefits, whatever. Side eye. Whatever you want to call it. In my life, which is quite shocking for someone my size. But I've only... It's really not, Amber. It's really not. Um, when you factor into the situation, the sheer lack of self-respect you have, that makes it a lot easier. I had a few relationships where... It was truly people that cared about me and I cared about them. My first true, true, true relationship was with a girl named Cassidy. So that was your first relationship and that was the relationship you had right before Crystal. So what? We met online. We talked to each other for almost a full year before we met in person. While we were in online relationship along while he was underage yes continue and this you were asking for nudes from someone who was underage continue this relationship i would send her pictures of my face i made her understand that i was a bigger girl i told well duh amber <laughs> but to be honest even her face doesn't convey the sheer mass you know her my weight and she really really accepted that things were oh Oh, because didn't Casey come out and say that, uh, yeah, no, at first I was not attracted to her at all. Honestly, freaking great when we first met. I was super nervous. I had butterflies in my stomach. My stomach was in freaking knots. I had faith that she was going to like me, that she was going to think I was beautiful. And by this point, Casey fully identified as a man, so she is choosing to misgender him. And I really wasn't worried at all. Then about a year later, I moved in with her, and as our relationship got more serious and more in-depth, she was honest with me, and she told me that the first time she ever met me in person, she did not find me attractive whatsoever. Yep, bingo. I was freaking so shocked, so hurt, and so surprised. We really? We weren't in a heated fight or anything. She was purely setting me down, and she was being honest that when we met in person, well, you were probably pretty insisting on, you know, physical contact and stuff like that. Like he said you were, so. I wasn't attractive to her at all. It completely lowered my self-esteem a great deal. Oh. 
but I thought your self-esteem would have already been rock bottom from all those years of abuse. No? Okay. I was never the same since then. She was... How I roll. That one person who I honestly thought would think I was beautiful unconditionally. Don't get me wrong, as time went on and we lived together, like, obviously she started finding me attractive because she's... Uh, obviously. Ew. Ew. Also, Amber, you're not talking about this relationship as if there was any type of abuse at all, like you claim there was. I started to get to know my personality. It still really scarred me. After Cassidy came Crystal. She was my second, like, true, honest, meaningful relationship. I have asked Crystal in the past what she expected when she first met me in person, and she told me she didn't know what to expect. I, too, as well, made her process in her head that I was a big girl and to please expect that. I was very, oh, I roll. very hesitant because of what happened with Cassidy when it came to- Well, wait, 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 wait. You also just left out the entire part where you had Crystal come and stay with Casey and you and you cheated on Casey with Crystal then. Huh? Just kissing. That's probably all they did, but still. Crystal, but Crystal was, she had a softer heart. She was kinder, more understanding. Oh, well, maybe you shouldn't have been shacked up with a little child, dude. So I really didn't think anything bad was going to happen with that. When we met, she thought I was beautiful, and it made me feel really, really good. It helped with my self-esteem. I was finally with someone who accepted everything about me. A couple of years in, though, she completely stopped telling me I was beautiful. <laughs> Dude. Oh, my God. You can't even wait to be out of their freaking house off their paycheck to freaking talk your shit now, dude. Oh, my God. I honestly didn't get compliments from her. That is when... Well, did you give compliments other than, <coughs> she's a girl? I thought I was doing something wrong. I thought my weight finally failed me in this relationship. I... I mean, valid, honestly. Honestly, if you're with someone and they're just gaining and gaining and gaining and not putting in any effort at all and also meanwhile abusing you fuck <laughs> go eat yourself to death on your own dime dude i'm sorry insecurities and my self-esteem had never been so low in my life so that explains why the last year it's just been rapid weight gain as everything is said and done now, Crystal does think I'm beautiful. She tells me on a oh, yeah, I bet. day to day basis now that we're broken up, which is like. What? Ironic. At the time. Y'all. You're a little, such a lie. I literally felt like the ugliest person in the world. Well. To some, you might be. Okay. We were going through all that when I was a little girl and just the past relationships where I didn't even feel beautiful. I have... Well, maybe you shouldn't have also forced yourself upon those relationships, Amber. Huh? Huh? If you hadn't pulled whatever stunt you did to move right in with Casey after going and meeting him for the first time, then maybe you wouldn't be stuck in that situation. I don't fully believe that it was because Grandma kicked her out. I really don't. I think she pulled very similar to what she's probably pulling with Tommy, which is squatter. Officially hit rock bottom in my insecurities and my self-esteem. I can look at you guys right now. What is all this about? Oh my god. There's only like three minutes left, and she spent most of this video just yapping about... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on. Ugh. I just wasn't expecting to have to sit through this today. Like, a, her just complaining video. I'll end tell you, I am not the be most beautiful person in the world. I am oh, thanks for reminding me. I am morbidly obese in society's eyes. That is disgusting. So Amber, in your own personal health standard size. That's freaking disgusting, okay? 
don't call it a society thing. No one was ever supposed to be five foot one to five foot four and over 500 pounds. Sorry about it. If that is fat phobic, then so be it. When it comes to destiny, this is why I am super, super terrified of meeting her. I am literally constantly with my- I mean, we know. We know that obviously Destiny likes the big gals. That's fine. Amber, though, it's never been really truly about her size. She just makes everything about her size. So, like, well, we're going to mention it. It's the personality, dude. It's the personality. Her and Destiny could have really been, like, the perfect couple. They could have been. They had a great start. But... Amber, dude. And Destiny, too. You know, I'm sure she wasn't Miss Innocent in the relationship either. Obviously not. She cheated. But, like, when you... <laughs> her, ...how fat I am, even as we're on FaceTime, where she could physically see this herself, but in my... Yeah, but to be fair, it doesn't convey on camera all the time just necessarily how big someone is. Head, I feel like she's not understanding how big I truly am. You guys, I'm... That seems condescending. Constantly worried about what she's going to think when we meet in person. This is... Well, I can't say I blame you. I don't want to validate that, but I, I can understand. Honestly, actually kind of embarrassing. I have... Uh, I've gone as far as to showing her naked pictures of me. I... I roll. <laughs> feel like... If she, she, like, here, look at all, look at me at all my glory. <laughs> sees it now before things get even more serious than they already are. If she, Ew. she doesn't like how I look, then there's not a potential in this relationship. This really haunts me, even after all my insecurity. Haunts me? Oh, oh, it haunts her, girl. If Destiny says she's fine with it, then she's fine with it. You're going to pull whatever ish you have to anyways to have a new place to live, so like it matters. But that also makes sense as to why she's so scared because of it. Because it could turn out so badly that Destiny doesn't even pick her up. She just leaves her there, you know? I think that is kind of a valid fear, but... Eh, I would also be so annoyed of someone being like, look, you don't understand, I'm so fat. Like, shut up. ...and every single flaw that I have, and I have freaking millions, she still thinks I'm beautiful and she... Do you think she was sending her photos of her wonky teeth and shit? ...accepts everything I've ever told her about me. I don't want to push Destiny... Well, to be fair, Destiny's also an F-boy, okay? She'll say anything to get in your pants. That's what it seems. ...way because she has really made me insanely happy at such a hard time in my life. She came into my life at the most perfect time. There's times when she... And yet you still had to go and throw a freaking can of soda at her, okay? Tells me I'm beautiful and I question her truthfulness only because of my own reasons, my own, I'm scared to be lied to, it's hard for me to trust people, and I feel like my weight is... Listen, I get that, I'm not going to be dismissive of that, but also, that isn't other people's responsibility. Like, <sighs> girl, go see a freaking therapist, oh my god. Lee just mess with my head so hardcore. I know a lot of it- Because, guaranteed, it's Amberlynn's insecurities that have ruined every single relationship she's been in. Really, if you think about it. So, if she could just stop projecting that onto every freaking person around her, hey, shit, she might be a little bit better. Has to do with the fact that I lost a lot of weight. I lost almost a hundred pounds, and oh, bitch! But you put over a hundred back on. I never felt that good before, and then I gained every single pound back. Yep. I'm fat Amber all over again. Destiny is insanely understanding when it comes to. Well, to be fair, you've also probably been spinning this web of like, I want to do better. I 
want to lose weight. I want to be healthy for you. The same rhyme and reason that she does for every relationship. And then very quickly you realize it ain't going to freaking happen. My insecurities, I talk to her about them all the freaking time. Like, I'm almost scared that I'm going to push her away or something. Well, I mean... That's a logical fear, I would say. Sabotage. Something that could be so freaking beautiful. Oh, you're you're going to. Don't worry. That's a thousand percent going to happen. Give it a little bit of time, though. You guys, aside from me... Be and the thing is, Destiny was so over-the-top lovey-dovey and interested with Amber that when you... Get to the point where Destiny starts not having those feelings, it's very obvious. And a nervous freaking wreck. I am so excited to meet her. I don't even, I can't even put it into words how excited I really am. We have such a strong connection. We have grown so close together. It's, it's really crazy how technology has planted such a beautiful base for people. Oh my God. To fall in love. You're a psycho. <laughs> you are the prime example of why you shouldn't online date. Who normally wouldn't. I just can't wait to be in her arms and to be able to kiss her for the first time. I'm honestly... Dude, I mean, to be fair, if she wasn't into the whole online dating thing, she wouldn't have met Casey. She wouldn't have met Crystal. Christ. <laughs> so freaking excited. I I'm bet. very grateful that she accepts... The person I am on the outside, but she also... I feel like, hold on, whoa, 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 wait. Because we gotta remember, she said density <laughs> does watch the videos. So, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I'm so sorry about that. That one snuck up on me. This is more manipulation for destiny. That's what this video is. It's not really for us. Um... If it gets people to be more like, oh, Amber, than perfect, it's for destiny. I keep wanting to say density. <laughs> That's mean. Who thinks I'm beautiful on the inside? On the inside, I'm a really, really good person, and she sees... <laughs> Girl, maybe like right underneath your dermal, but <laughs> what's really deep down? Oh, it's like pitch black tar. That, and she points that out to me. A lot of people stop, stare, look at my body, and don't get to know me just because of how I look like. I'm She's the La Brea Tar Pits. Once you're in, you're stuck. The outside. She actually got to know my inside and... Ew. <laughs> she got to see my appearance on the outside and she still fell in love with me. I really need... Wow. Wow. She's making a big deal out of it. Because her past relationships were not like that. She swindled these people into being in relationships with her. But they clearly didn't want to. They never freaking touched. I try my hardest just to let my insecurities go and embrace this new relationship like I've never embraced anything before. Dusty. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> not even weight loss. He makes me want to be a better person. I haven't been able to say that in the longest freaking time. I don't know. Oh. So just the fact that um, you could tell something was up with Crystal, but they're still at least taking care of you, doing everything that you want. You couldn't find, like, a silver lining in that, dude. Go freaking figure. If this video diary was anything like I was even expecting to say, or what you guys were expecting to hear, but I just figured for my first one, I should probably just talk about how insecure I am. It Don't worry, Amber, we already know. <laughs> Lily is playing a big part in this soon-to-be relationship, and I just hope that I don't ruin it. That's the uh, well, you will. Don't worry. Give it time, though. Like he I understands, said. and that's all that matters. But this is currently just how I'm feeling. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Yeesh, we're going to see a lot more of that sarcasm, sure, you guys. We already see it a ton, but now it looks even smaller on her. Anyways, thank you so, so much for tuning on in and sticking through my BS. This is a rough one today. I really do apologize. Um, not my finest work, I would say. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm hoping this won't last too long. This cold, whatever. I think it's just a cold. Go. 
Are. He's he's beaten himself. Hi. Ugh. Hi, Bubba. You're fine. Thank you so much for tuning on in, you guys. I truly do appreciate y'all. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe. Become a... <coughs> I hope you guys have a good one. Take care.